lovelies it's Dawny P here and welcome to my YouTube channel and to this video today. Um, this one is all about the latest tonic craft kit and this is Serendipitous Purse Box Set and it makes the most beautiful little gift box but obviously there's, there's so much more there's so I can't even speak today so much more um in this kit than than just that so what we'll do we'll have a little look at what you're going to get in your kit then we will have a little look at some samples the usual format have a little look at some samples that I've made hopefully give you some ideas and then we'll put together something at the end okay so the sharp eyed amongst you will see it looks a little bit different so this is how you're going to uh, this is a new rebranding of the craft kit and it's fantastic. It looks amazing. So um, I don't normally start at this point. I usually take everything out, but I just wanted to show you. It's it's the biz. So we'll have a little look at what you get in it. And then um, we will, as I say, we'll look at some cards and then we'll put a project together. So those are our Nouveau goodies. Let's take everything out. And then I'm just going to move the box out of the way. These boxes are so handy. They're so they're sturdy and really, really good. OK, so look what you're getting. You're getting a, a pen, a lovely pen. And it doesn't half write nice as well in your uh, tonic orange. So that's a little Brucey bonus in there. Let's put that there. Now, this is the folder that your dies are going to come in. I've I've actually taken them out, so put them on my, my magnetic sheet so we can have a proper look. But it's a sturdy folder and you get your little wallet in there as well with um, your pockets to store your dies in. Um, these are the stamps. We'll have a little look at those in a sec. So really, really sturdy. Let's put that with a box. So what we'll do, uh, what should we start with? We'll start with the dies. And then um, we'll go on to um, the Nouveau products and the papers. So these are our dies. And they will make the most gorgeous, as I say, the most gorgeous little box. This is your main piece here. And I've cut one out so you can see. Can you see on the that section there? You've got gorgeous little embossed, debossed flowers rather. Aren't they pretty? And of course, all you, you there's no cutting and measuring. Everything's been done for you. All you've got to do is run it through your machine. You 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 make you would cut two out, and if you're used to tonic stuff, you'll you'll see straight away how you put it together. You join it's joined there, and then these bits or that bit folds around, and then this bit that's stuck here folds around there. So we we'll have a look at that properly when we get to the end. Um, putting the project together so that's your main piece you've, you've even got like a little hole to thread your string or your twine or your ribbon whatever you want through there so that's our main piece now it's a verso set so you're going to get some dies to decorate your box so you're going to get this one here this outside edge here which fits your main bit of your die cut there and then our two our verso dies that go on to uh, that fit with that one. You're getting a choice of two different patterns, and they're both absolutely beautiful. So this one's um, you've got some nice vertical. Um, I can't I can't even speak today. Um, vertical pattern, a vertical pattern in it with some beautiful uh, flowers and what have you on there. And you've got a space in the middle for you to put. Um, well, actually, this one which fits in there but we'll, we'll talk about that in a second and then this one is another pattern here and we've got some leaves and some flowers and what have you and they're really really pretty so let's put you back on there so those are our that's our main piece and our the, the bits basically for for your your main section now this side section here you're getting an outside edge there an outside edge there and an outside edge there. Now, on when you ha when you come to have a look at the cards in a minute, um, one of the cards I did, I literally just used these three dies, and I cut out different um, bit, different bits of card, just just scraps of the card, and I've laid them out. Dead easy to do. So you know, I just thought I'd um, 
I'll put something together using those. So those are our outside edges. And then we've got our inside edges, which will correspond with the main section. So that one would work with that one. That one would work with that one. And the same with these smaller pieces, which fit there and there. OK, so that's those. Now, our oval die which, as I say, that can fit in the centre. But obviously, you know, you can use this for other things. And you get a choice of four sentiments, which will go with that. Um, we've got um, thanks. We've got uh, best wishes. We've got um, enjoy your day. And we've got lots. I think it's lots of love. Let me just check. Oh, sorry. This is just for you. Can't read. So, you've got, I mean, they cover a multitude of sins, don't they? So that's those. And as I say, they fit in there. And then, which I think is a great idea, you've got two little tags here. So you can tie them onto the top of your bag. You've got this nice um, elongated oval shape here and you've got this arched window. I'm sure it's got a proper name, but I'd, I'd call it an arched window. And they've got, can you, can you see that? You've got gorgeous like stitching detail on those. So pretty and really useful. And then you've got two... Um, two sentiments to go one each to go in those so you've got for you which goes into that one and you've got with love which goes into that one and again on one of the cards what i did is i i cut them out so the, the, the words will be cut out and then you could you can put that on top of there so the the, the other color underneath shows through but you can keep the letters as well and i've one of the cards that i've done you'll see that i've used it in that way now, you also get some beautiful stamps. So you've got two stamps there which will work beautifully with that oval there. And you've got two which will work beautifully with the tags as well. Then you get four sentiments. Now, you'll, you'll see a lot of these. You can see by the best wishes there. I've used this quite a bit because it, it says an awful lot. And you can use it for many, you know, many different occasions. So we've got thank you, love, best wishes, lots of love and special day. And the brilliant. I love the font. I don't like anything that's too fancy. And these fonts just tick the boxes for me. So and, and, a, and a nice, neat size as well. So those are our stamps. So let's put you out of the way. You get a sticker as well. Serendipitous purse box. Isn't that nice. So what we'll do now, we'll have a little look at the papers. Now these come to you in this smart, smart wallet. This is a really, really good um, idea. You know, if you're working on some projects, you can pop them in here and it keeps them out of the way. So these are our um, the cardstock we're getting. Now, normally, as you know, if you've seen my videos before, I usually chop little bits, but I wanted to show you that wallet. So we'll have a little look at these and then we'll pop them back in there. So this is, you shouldn't have favourites. I don't know why I'm whispering because the card don't care, but I love this. I love the texture. I love the colour and the possibilities that it gives you. So this is the handcrafted um, cotton paper, and this is called Tropical Nights Speciality Paper. So you've got that colour on one side and you've got um, black a black colour on the other side. These work so well with your pastes, your sprays, and I'm just gonna show you one that I've actually started doing. Now let's put them side by side. It might not be, you can just about see it. So what I did here, on this bit here, literally the spray, which we'll come to that's in with the Nuvo goodies, I just sprayed that and it's just, let's put them like that. Can you see? It's just, um, just changed it a little bit. It's nice, isn't it? And then this bit here, this sparkly bit here, that was a bit of glacier paste on my hand and I just rubbed it onto the card. And as I say, you can do that on both sides. So that's our speciality card. Now this one, it doesn't look very exciting. I'll give you that. But this is worth its weight in gold. And I'm so glad they've included a sheet. Because if you've never used it, this is our super smooth cardstock. It's 300 GSM and it's perfect for stamping on. 
very smooth so you can use it with your alcohol markers um and you go don't get any drag or any doesn't suck the ink out of your out of your pens it's really really good and a decent weight so it's a good opportunity for you to have a little play with that and see what you think now we're gonna have a little bit of sparkle here look at that well a bit of sparkle a bit of shimmer a bit of a shimmer this is our mirror card and this is purple rain i hope you don't get an earworm with that like i did I was, it was i couldn't get it out of my head all day and now it, the same thing will happen again so that's our beautiful beautiful mirror card so it's you've got that color on one side and you've got your white on the other okay i'm gonna let me just leave the craft perfect till the end now we're going to come on to some foiled craft card this is the most pretty rose gold and this is um called rose gold posies look at that pattern you see a subtle little shimmer on that it's lovely and you can pen over this with your with your um alcohol pens as well and it just changes it really nice let's put you out of the way and then we're going to come on to our um speciality card this is ice gray glacier and it's got the most gorgeous i'm trying to see what you're seeing here can you see that texture beautiful texture it's like um it's almost like leather and again sprays and your pastes will work beautifully over that so that you've got that on one side and you've got your plain color on the other then a bit of sparkle here this is our glitter card in in um it's cobalt blue isn't it lovely nice encapsulated glitter so it's not going to fall everywhere it's you know it's stuck on there well and that lovely lovely sheen that you get okay and then you're going to get three sheets of classic um craft perfect card and you can see the colors they all sort of work together you've got your pinks your your uh, purples and your blues here beautiful so we've got um denim blue if you've not used this cardstock before um what you do you, on one side you've got a texture i don't know if you can see the texture and on the other it's smooth so you've got the best of both worlds with that that's as i say that's cobalt blue and then we've got aubergine purple beautiful color and finally ballet pink now if you're a digi oh i'm sorry we've got the hound of the baskervilles next door oh dear um if you're a fan of digi di digital cutting i can tell you this cardstock works a treat just put it on the mat with the texture side up and it cuts well fantastically so um that's our card I'm just going to show you some. Oh, no, we haven't looked at the, the Nouveau. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let's have a look at our Nouveau goodies now. So you're getting a nice little array of stuff here. I'm going to get that because I want to show you um, these bits and pieces. So we're getting a mica mister. Now that looks blue, doesn't it? It looks like a, like a denim blue. When you spray it, it there's a grey tone. Can you see that? It's beautiful so that's our mica um spray you've got a beautiful glimmer paste and this is in um it's what's it called that was midnight horizon by the way that last one this one is um i'll think of it in a sec don't tell me i'll look on the tube because i'm twilight sky honestly I've memory like a sieve today look at this beautiful 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 I love this stuff so that's our um glimmer paste then we get a glitter marker and this is um wild mulberry so when you get it i've used mine because i can't wait when you get it um your tip will be white all you've got to do is just press it a few times and your color will come through and this is it's got a subtle a subtle sheen. I don't know if that's picked. Can I pick it up there? Ooh. 
oh just about it's beautiful now you can also with this you can scribble it on your mat and add a little bit of water and you can use it to paint or to use as a as a splash it's really really pretty and it works well with a the kit then we've got some um sequins now i'll probably live to regret doing this because i can never get them back in but these are a mixture that pretty pretty baby pink you've got a mixture of sizes there so they're nice they add a, a, something really nice to your to your cards and projects and oh, that wasn't bad for me i've only lost one um and a little goes a long way again for your shaker cards as well if you've got the new shaker pockets these are fantastic for that then we've got some beautiful um nouveau drops in um it's crystal drops and it's navy blue this is a beautiful color again if you've not used these before am i in shot here yes i am if you're not in if you have not used this before if you've not used these before rather they're a self-leveling drop and it doesn't matter how big or how small you make them you're always going to get that beautiful round shape there's no horrible little peaks so if you can see the color there it's really nice really pretty but not just for adding your dots we'll have a look at something that i've done with that in a second and then um you're going to get a tape runner this is um exactly what it says it's a tape runner and it's eight millimeter wide and you've got eight meters on here so a really good good size and it'll last you um a long time and it's i don't think about mine but you, you literally just you've seen them you just use it like that really handy to have um i've actually made let me go and grab my other background bear with so what i've actually done I've, i was having a play with some of the backgrounds um with some of the the nouveau products to make some backgrounds so i've shown you that one with the mica spray this one it's got the kitchen sink thrown at it so what we've done we've used a little bit of the glimmer paste just spread onto the card randomly and then i got some um crystal drops and just blobbed it all over the shop then i got some of my um wild mulberry glitter marker scribbled it on my desk added some water and then i just splashed that on as well and finally i gave it a a light spray with that and then and i'm lying it wasn't finally because i um used a bit of gesso now one of the um boxes that you'll see in a second i've actually used um this to make the background which i used to cut out cut out that shape so when you see the the blue box in the little showcase that i put together this is the background and that's how i did it and finally, um, this is a very, very subtle background. And I think this would look rather nice on, on darker card as well. And this one was literally the same with the um, glitter marker on the desk, added a bit of water. I think I, I probably used a paintbrush there. Can you see you've got that little shimmer going on? And then I just lightly sprayed with some mica mist. I haven't made that into anything yet, but that's it's on the card. It will happen so those are our goodies so what we'll do now we'll have a little look at some of the samples and then we'll come back and we'll put something together so i'll see you in a sec <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed that little um, wander through the samples. I hope it's given you some ideas of what you can do with this kit. Um, as I say, the, I think the colours are amazing and loads and loads of possibilities. And it's such a sweet little gift box as well. So what I thought we'd do is we'll put something together now. We'll put together... Well, we'll do the basic one first. I won't decorate it. I'll just literally show you how it fits together. Um, and then we'll do something a little bit different. We'll go a little bit rogue and we'll do something still using this um, die set, but something uh, a bit different. So you can see that there are other possibilities. So what I've done, um, you know, I, I like to cut everything out first because otherwise you'd have motion sickness with this camera. Um, those are my two base pieces, which I used the main set, uh, the main die for. So I've cut two of those. And then let's just zoom in a weeny bit and then you can see that's probably a little bit better. There we go. So I've cut two of those and then I've cut, um, I've got some baker's twine there. And then I've used this tag here, this one here, if I can get it off. Um, and I've cut, um, I cut two in blue and one in white and then I took one of the blue ones and I cut in that detail and it will all will be revealed later when we stick that together so those that's all I've done for uh, cutting wise so what we'll do we'll we'll assemble this one and then as I say we'll go and do something a bit different so first thing um, as always we need to reinforce our creases I think I hope when you've seen how easy they are to put together, um, I think you'll agree. You know, they'd be great. I'll tell you what these would be good for. Wedding favours. You know, when you've got loads to do and not a lot of time to do them. Or you don't want to spend too much time. They, they'd be great for, the, for that because they're ever so easy. So that's one. This little flap here, I just basically fold it down and then fold all the, all the crease lines are in and fold it back like that and I'm going to do the same on this one fold you in there and these tabs here there are several ways you can actually um, put these together you've got different options so I'll, I'll, I'll talk you through it when, when we get to that point right so what if you've if you've used tonic dies before, as I said, let's move that so you don't you're not looking at that. There we go. Um, this is your base piece, and all we're going to do is we're going to stick the two together. Now, see this little bit here. There's several ways you can do this. You can stick it. You can stick that down, and then when we we stick them like that, if you like, um, you can then cut another one and just use this section to stick on top so you get extra um it, it makes it a bit sturdier or you can glue those to the back and that's the way that's what I'm going to do now so that's going to be glued to the back so I want I'm going to use some double-sided tape just for just for quickness oh I just realized I should have used my tape tape runner and then that goes literally put it up like that and, and glue that like that and we're going to do the same on the other piece as well so the, the glue's going to go basically on the wrong side and it's going to come over like that if that makes sense so put that on there like that and then that'll go there Okay, now we're going to add some glue before we do. No, I'll just use wet glue for this. I'm going to add a little bit of wet glue to the, let's move that out of the way, to this, this base section here, like so. And also I'm going to put on this first glue tab here, I'm going to put my a little bit of glue like that. You can use double sided tape if you want. And then on this other piece, just on that bit there, the first glue tab, because my bot that this is going to have, stay open like that. You can, if you want, if you wanted it to be fastened up, you can 
do the next section so it opens like that or the next section so it you know it's almost closed but that's the way i'm going to do this one so we're going to pop that in there like that and scoot these into position you're in position there don't want to get glue all over it and you're in position like so just give it a second to grab so that's how mine is going to open like that see but as i say if you wanted you can in fact i'll tell you what we'll do let's go let's go a bit different let's glue one section let's glue, glue one section because we can so that's going to go in there like that and in there like that so it's going to open like that i think you can see you've got you've got several options here okay so that's that we're going to do the same on this side just that first section and pop those glue tabs into the body of the box hold it still while it grabs this deluxe adhesive doesn't take long okay let me put the lid on while that's thinking about it and then you see when you want to close it let's move those back you can just pop those little bits in there poke the little glue tabs in towards the body of the box okay so now what we're going to do is we'll close oops we'll close this bit so what i do is i'll pinch them together i'll try to do it on the side like that so you can see put them in together like that as if they're saying the prayers like so and then this slit here i feed them through and that's one oops you've come out we'll tuck that in at the end and then we'll do the same on this side like so okay now you come out so we have to pop you back in oh come on you i'll tell you i have to undo it and poke it back in it's not gonna like that or is it let's have a little look sorry i have to pull this towards me to do this no let's do it properly let's do it properly darling right so let's pop those in there like so say your prayers pop you over pop you in and poke that through the top like so there we go so that's nice that's all closed now and you can fold that down if you wanted for added um stability so we're going to turn our attentions to the tag now and then we're nearly done so the one that i've cut the words out i'm just going to add a little bit of glue like that and then i'm going to stick the white one that i cut on top of it so you can see those words poking through like so try and line it up a bit straighter it will help there we go and then because i don't like to see the, the back looking rough i generally do another one and glue it right side out on that one if that makes sense so it looks good from the front and the back and also it's it's nice and sturdy as well right so now all i've got to do is tie my tag onto the box so make a little loop and poke that through like so and then that goes like so and stand that up and i think i've got i don't know how much tape i thought i was going to need here i've cut loads go on through there we go 
Uh oh, I knew that was going to happen. Let me cut a bit off there and thread it through. Oh, more fingers and thumbs today. I don't cope very well with this hot weather. Most people love it. And I've always said I've got, I think I've got Eskimo blood because I like it when it's cold. Come on through. Don't be silly. There we go. There we go. And then I'll just pull that up like that and tie that on there like so so that's the basic box there i'll cut all this yards of twine off that i didn't really need there we go so that's the basic box like that and as i say you can decorate that however you want so what i'll do i'll clear everything away and then we'll put together something again using this die set but it's a little bit different i'll see you in a tick right so let's put this um something different together so what i've done again i've gone ahead and i've cut all the pieces that i need i've cut four of the main piece and i've cut four in the um tropical nights um cotton paper of the of this piece here and then i've cut another four in the aubergine purple craft perfect there that's to line the inside um I've also started, I've cut two four by four squares. They may or may not have to be trimmed. Um, we'll see at the end. And I've just cut a piece of card. Um, I think that's about um, 15 centimetres and then another one about five, which is of the aubergine, which I've just stuck down the middle. That's for the handle. Now, this is the, the main pieces. What I did with those, they started off, can you see like that? So I've gone ahead, I've cut that bit off here, I've cut that bit off there and I've cut this first glue tab off. Okay, so we don't need sections one, two and three and we don't need that bit there. Okay, so you end ending up with that. I've done that four times and I've stuck down my cotton paper straight onto it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a bit of double sided tape because we're going to join these together like so in a long line. So I'm just going to put on. In fact, let me go and grab my, um, let me grab my, what you call it, tape, tape runner. Where have you gone? There you are. Let's grab my tape run, it's going to be a bit quicker. Let's take you off. And we're just going to have that there. That's better. And then line that up. I'm using this crease line here as my guide. I might actually, just in case I don't get it straight, just add a little bit of wet glue on the top as I usually do. And then I'm lining that up like so. So there's number one. And then when that's done, I usually just give it a, a crease like that to, to reinforce the glue, but also to make sure that it's nice and flush. If that makes sense. Let me just move my chair. Oh, I'm all over the shop. And then this one, same again on here with that on there so it slides we're going to line you up like so like so and then give that a press and then finally a little bit of glue on there line that up okay there we go so there's our four pieces all lined up now what we're going to do these sort of cornery bits here 
that's going to actually come round if that makes sense and it's going to be glued like so okay does that make sense so what i want to do is um I want to put, i'll do this bit first there we go let's put you down flat and and then that's going to sorry i'm going all over the shop here that's going to be stuck down like that okay so we've got that sort of thing going on now for the base what we're going to do let's move these out then you can actually see what i'm doing move these to the outside and we'll bring them in one at a time one two three four so that's that's what you kind of got okay make sure you're well stuck down now i'm going to put a little bit of um wet glue on all of these and then literally that's going to be folded in like that hold it with my other hand one one two line that up there with that corner and that up there with that corner see and then do the same on this side line it up with the corner there line it up with the corner there and then all we've got to do is fold those bit, bits in and i want to put a little bit of glue oops a daisy oh you're not stuck and then a little bit of glue there 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 and there and then just fill those in like so i'll turn that over and then i can give it a good press from the inside okay now it looks a bit scrappy like that so this is where the four by four squares come in now because of how you've cut it uh, glued it you might find you might need to trim a little bit off so let me grab my guillotine you'll have to go out the way mr dicer and i'm just going to trim a tiny weeny bit off um off that we'll do little bits to start with you can always um There we go, let's see if, it's, if that fits any better. Yeah. And then I'm going to just dribble a little bit of glue all the way around the inside like that and then pop that on there. And then that bit is quite neat now. When you look inside, it's quite neat at the base. I'm going to do the same on the outside with this bit here. Let's just check it for size first before we... Yeah, that's that's okay so a little bit of glue on there you probably take a bit more time than i'm doing and pop that on there like so hold it for a second and turn that over and give it a press from that side okay now the inside looks a bit you can see um, where you folded it, if that makes sense, where you've folded those side bits in. So what I like to do is I've cut some four more of these of, of that sort of shape and I can cover that up like so. But I'm only going to do on two opposite sides for, to start with. because You'll see why in a second. So there's one. Let's try and do this so you can see what I'm doing. It's not very exciting. It's only... I'm only covering up. There we go. There's one. I'll do the same. Do you know that's not even straight? Do you know? I don't know. My eyes today. Let's put a bit more glue on. So we can slip it into place. Try again. Take two. Whoops. We're all sticking up there. That's it. And then we'll pop, just slide in that in there. And that's a bit of a cover up going on there. 
sorry it's still not straight it's because i'm doing it at a funny angle i think there's one there we go there's one and then i'm going to do the same on the opposite side now So at least we don't have to look at those, um, the, the corner bits that have been folded in. So I want to put a handle on. Like this, that handle's going to sit inside there like that. But I'm going to put this on first and then, and then, so I'm going to put this on this side here. We can cover that side up then I can see what I'm doing try and get it in the center like so and then that piece is going to come over there so I can cover this side up now make life a bit easier than um, trying to do it when the handle's on we've got no choice with the other side but we can do this one now that bit's going to go in there and that'll cover all the all your workings out like that and then finally, we're going to do the same on this side. Let's get you in the middle, like that. And then this bit, you can't really do anything. You've got to sort of work around the handle on this last bit, I'm afraid. And then just scoop that in line it up and pop it down there we go it's not straight again oh dear oh dear oh dear what am i doing today do you know we all have days do we all have days like this is it just me wonky itis days there we go so now we've got a little box which is the same as we've made use the same as that but we've made it bigger but we've just made it bigger in a different way so you know i think it's quite quite sweet um and again you could add add your um your tag onto the side and uh, whatever you wanted to do with that and you could use this would look nice with the um, inside edge cut into it i think but anyway it's just a different way of of, of using it so i hope that's give you some ideas and um i hope you enjoy your kit when you get it until I see you soon, I'll see you soon. Blah, can't speak. I'll see you again soon. But until then, you take care, stay safe and stay well. And um, I'll talk to you shortly. Bye.